Everybody ready? All right, good evening. My name is Officer Christian Hancock, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Public Information Officer. Unfortunately, we're out here tonight uh, because of some missing children. Uh, we've seen this scenario uh, in recent months, unfortunately, and we're hoping for a whole lot better outcome tonight. Um, we were reported today at about 11.30 that these two children um, became missing from their front yard. Apparently, family members in the house attempted to look for the children for an extended period of time, notified us, and then early afternoon or so we got involved and have since, uh, obviously, we've escalated the search. The two children are Braxton Williams and Bryla Williams. Braxton is six, Bryla is five. Uh, black male, black female. We've distributed some pictures. Um, you can go to our social media sites or obviously any of the news media sites to see pictures of these children. Uh, they were reported missing from the 10,200 block of West Beaver Street, uh, where they were last seen in the front yard of a residence. Have not been seen since. Obviously, we're at about seven hours plus uh, that they've been missing. Um, so they could realistically be anywhere in Florida if they're not alone. If they are alone, obviously they're endangered because they are five and six years old. So we are um, obviously ramping up the search. We're asking for everyone's assistance in looking. Um, if you're out and about tonight, obviously be careful if you're in this area, uh, but we are asking for everybody's help. I'm glad to take any questions that you have. First Coast News, uh, is it believed, are they with any parents, relatives, friends? Uh, at this moment, we have no idea. We don't know if they're alone or if they're with somebody. That part of the investigation obviously is still ongoing. Our major focus right now is finding these two children. Have neighbors said anything about they saw them outside other than the parents? To my knowledge, uh, no. I don't know what the investigation is leading to as far as uh, I just know when they were reported missing, when the last time they were seen. Um, detectives are canvassing the area. They're going door to door. We've got canines out. We've got uh, dive teams out. We've got the hair unit. And we've got drones out looking for them. Is so uh, we ask for participation. Any surveillance around or like ring doorbell cameras and things like that on the surrounding I'm not aware of any at this moment. There probably is, and we'll be looking for that when we go to the door-to-door -door searches. Uh, but I haven't been made aware of any of them. And where are the parents right now? I have no idea. Do you know how many uh, officers' resources are being used for this search? There's a multitude of officers out here tonight. JSO is out here. JFRD is out here. We have USAR teams, urban search and rescue teams out. There are even dogs out that don't belong to us. They're from other agencies and or private entities that are out. So, again, we're, we're, we're not going to spare any expense. The search will continue throughout the night as it's going right now uh, until we find these children. We've heard from family members on scene that the father of the two kids lived in this neighborhood and that's the home that they were at. Are you able to confirm that? I'm uh, not. I, I was told that a family member was someone who called it in. It was a family member in the residence. I haven't been told the, uh, the, the relationship to that family member as of yet. Were they playing outside in front of that home? Uh, that's what we were told, yes. They were playing out front of the residence, and at last time they were seen was about 11.30. All right, we will update as soon as we can. Obviously, this is an Amber Alert. Um, again, we're going to continue throughout the night. We do ask for everyone's participation, everyone's assistance, getting this information out. If you see anything, please call the Sheriff's Office, 904-630-0500, and we'll update as soon as we can. Do you know who called 911? I do not. I know it was a, I was told it was a family member. And it was a 911 call? I, I don't know if it was 911 or, or not emergency. I know someone reported it, it was a family member. And the property on the complex here, is it locked down, blocked off, taped off? It, it is at this moment, yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. All right. Are Thank you, you guys. Appreciate cars, it. Are you searching cars coming and going? Uh, we're searching everything that we have the ability to right now. Again, um, looking for these children. I have no idea where they could be. So, yes, we're, we're searching everything that we can. Are we mandating everybody that comes in and goes searching? I don't know that to be the case, but uh, if we will ask for everybody's participation in this endeavor until we can figure out where they are. How long does it usually take for an Amber Alert to go out once someone has reported children missing? Uh, Amber Alert is through FDLE that takes it's, the stipulations for an Amber Alert are wide, so we have to meet that criteria. Mm -hmm. We push the information out as soon as we have the ability to push it out, and we will work on that Amber Alert following that. We're not going to wait until we can figure out if all the criteria is met before we push out information on the missing child. So that's why you'll notice sometimes the information goes out and then an Amber Alert will follow shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we have to get with the FDLE. We have to make sure that everything that we have meets their criteria. And if it does, then we, the Amber Alert goes out. How big is the search area right now? How broad are we? I haven't been made aware of how big it is, but I know we're searching the, the surrounding areas. We're searching ponds. We're searching trash cans. We're searching everything. Uh, again, we're, we're looking for these children, and we, we aim to find them. And I know a lot of community members have been coming by asking how they can help. So how can they help? Uh, just keep your eyes open. Keep uh, Monitor the social media. If you see things, we're not asking for people to come out and search, but if people are out and about, uh, we absolutely we want them to pay attention. Look at these children. Look at their faces in the pictures. And if you see something, please call us and say something.
clear that you all throughout the night. Tonight. We absolutely will. Yes, ma'am. And we'll keep. Yes, I'll keep updating this. When I get new information, we'll update as, as often as we can. If there's nothing new. I'll be glad to come out and tell you we don't have anything new. Again, our major focus right now is finding these children. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And that was.